With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? This is called The Boss of Vinegar Bend. It's one that began one morning when California and I were on our way back to the Bar 20 from the Dry Plains. We were taking it easy through a particularly rough section of country when we spotted two big Conestoga wagons bouncing and rocking along, headed apparently for a land of rocky gorges, mesquite, and snakes. Hoppy, what you think them Connies are doing heading that way? No business of ours, California, but it does seem strange. There's sure no land for nesters. No trail there, either. Hoppy, you, you know I ain't curious, and I'm always willing to mind my own business. Uh, of course, that's the kind of a feller I am, but, uh, no, well, couldn't we just, uh... <laughs> All right, California. We'll ease over that way and say howdy. But mind you, no prying into their affairs. Now, as if I'd do a thing like that, huh? <laughs> Let's go, huh? <laughs> Hello, the wagon! Hello there! Well, I'll be darned if it ain't female. Well, I'll be danged if it ain't men, folks. Howdy. Howdy. I'm Mrs. Oates. That's my dad a driving to the wagon. You driving out here all alone? Yep. My old man up and died quite a piece back right after we shook the dust of Tennessee. Got her name Judy. Where are you all heading? I got some corn pone you're welcome to. Uh, 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 Hoppy, uh, what's she talking about? Shh. Glad to meet you, Mrs. Oates. My name's Hopalong Cassidy. This is my partner, California Carlson. Cassidy. Cassidy. Mm hmm. You ain't in a relation to them ornery Kentucky Cassidy's, be you? <laughs> no, I reckon you ain't. Last one of them got shot for stealing hogs. Sure, you wouldn't care for some corn pone. Uh, 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 Hoppy, you say so. Uh, no, thanks. No, thanks. Uh, Mrs. Oates, you seem to be headed into some rough country. Are you sure it's where you want to go? Well, sure, I'm sure. Got me a ranch just behind them rocky gorges. My old man paid Mr. Skaggs $11,000 for it. 11000 for a ranch behind the gorges? Mrs. Oates, do you suppose you could get this Mr. Skaggs to cancel the deal? Now, why should I do that? I want me a fine ranch. But those gorges don't end till they hit the mountains. Those are badlands. What? Mr. Cassidy, that $11,000 was our whole life savings. Well, maybe Skaggs would give your money back. Not that critter. Calls himself boss of Vinegar Bend. Told me the deal was legal and binding no matter if my husband was passed on. He didn't want no corn pone, neither. Uh, Mrs. Oates, uh, Judy, I'm afraid you're in for a real shock. If your ranch is in those bad lands, it's not worth a tenth of what you paid for it. Mr. Cassidy, what are you saying? Just that you've been swindled, cheated. That ranch of yours is worthless. No. No, he wouldn't. Mr. Cassidy, that can't be. I ain't got no more money to get home on. I ain't got no home to get to. Judy and I... <laughs> now, Mrs. Oates... Suppose I have a talk with this gag. Oh, thanks, Mr. Cassidy. Thanks. Hoppy, I got a hunch this'll mean bad trouble. <laughs> now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Boss of Vinegar Bend. On their way to the Bar 20, Hoppy and California meet a Mrs. Oates, a widow, and her daughter, Judy, heading into the Badlands west of Vinegar Bend. When the woman finds out that they have been swindled, Hoppy offers to help. Now they're all nearing the broken-down shack that comprise the woman's ranch house. Well, at least there's something to live in, Mrs. Oates. Sure ain't what Mr. Skaggs said it was. You see my cows any place, Mr. Cassidy? Cows? You mean there were cattle included in your deal? Well, sure. What kind of a ranch is it without cows? Skag said there was a thousand head of beef on this ranch. Oh, my gosh. She means maverick. Yeah, you're right, California. Mrs. Oates, these gorges and brakes hold a lot of cattle, but they're ones who have gone wild. They're mavericks. 
Rounding them up is expensive. It's tough and dangerous work. Well, I can ride. So can my daughter. Lady, ain't no women gonna round up wild mavericks. He's right, Mrs. Oates. Mavericks that have become used to freedom are killers. No, you and Judy try to make the place livable. California will stay and help while I ride in the sea skag. Well, one thing more you ought to know, Mr. Cassidy. Mr. Skaggs holds a $5,000 mortgage on this place still. Reckon he planned to get it back and swindle somebody else with it like he did my old man and me. Oh, fine. You don't even have a clear title. Well, now, maybe with the help of a strong man, I could get the place on a paying basis somehow. You be a strong man, Mr. Cassidy. Uh, I'm going to see Skaggs. I'll, I'll see you later. Mighty upstanding figure of a man. But I reckon he don't hanker for a double harness. Uh, Mr. Carlson... Now, you ain't such a great catch, but can you plow a straight fur? Uh, uh, me? Uh, oh, no, ma'am. Uh, you see, I, uh, up here, up here. Pardon me, but where do I find Skaggs? I am Mr. Caldwell Skaggs, sir. Banker, mayor, land agent, and at your service. You here to put in or draw out of the bank? Uh, draw out, I guess. Name's Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy. Fine, fine. Uh, uh, no, it isn't either. You have no account here. I know, but you sold a parcel of bad lands to the Oates family for $11,000. Plus a 5000 mortgage. The total was 16000 Yeah, well, Henry Oates died. His widow and child are out there now. It was a neat swindle, but don't you think some of that money should be given back to them? Some... <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Give the money back? What on earth for? To keep them from starving for one slight reason. I assure you, Mr. Cassidy, their starvation is a matter of total indifference to me. Good day. You know, I'm working up a great dislike for you, Skaggs, and I think maybe it's time your business deals were taken up in court. Yes, Step into my office, Mr. Cassidy. Perhaps we should discuss this more fully. Hiya, Mr. Skaggs. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were bringing in a customer. Don't leave, Toller. This is Mr. Cassidy, and he's hardly a customer. Mr. Cassidy, is, this is my um, assistant, Vic Toller. Glad to meet Cassidy. Well, hello, Toller. Haven't they hung you yet? Not yet, Cassidy. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you've met before? Yeah, we have met. He was in Cottonwood when I drilled a guy for calling me a killer. Cassidy helped run me out of town. Oh, well, that's all. Oh, well. You seem to be a strange sort of banker, Scraggs. Hiring gunslingers like Toller. I have a hunch a good investigation of you is going to prove downright interesting. Scraggs, you better let me get rid of this guy. He's muy mallow. He's bad medicine. And he swings a lot of weight back in his home range. You're wearing guns, Toller? Why don't you, you want to try now? Uh, no. No, not right now. Aye, you must be a tough one, Cassidy. Toller doesn't usually fear a test of his peculiar, uh, shall we say, talents. Oh, uh, I'm not afraid of him, Mr. Skagg. Congratulations on your courage. But perhaps we'd better take care of Mr. Cassidy in a more, uh, legal way. What? Give me your gun. Well, uh... Sure, here. Hold it, Skaggs. Calm yourself, Cassidy. I have no intentions of shooting you. Only doing this. Oh! Oh! You hit me, Mr. Skaggs. What did you have to hit me for? Sorry, Toller. I had to have a little evidence. Hmm, that split cheek and jaw should do it. You know, I don't care if you want to slaughter your help, Skaggs, but it doesn't settle the matter I came in on. You will care, Mr. Cassidy. You see, I've just witnessed your brutal assault on poor Mr. Toller here. My assault? Yours. At least that's how it will be presented to Sheriff Williams unless you ride out of town and stay out. And as I happen to own the sheriff, as I own everything in Vinegar Bend, I would advise you not to test the case against you. Attempted murder, or assault with a deadly weapon if you prefer, carries a nice long prison sentence. Now get out. I'll go for now, but I'll be coming back, Skaggs, to answer those charges in full. This is awful. You hiding out from the law, Skaggs turning the whole town again you? We better get fast. No, that's just what Skaggs wants me to do. 
But first, I'm going to try a little scheme that may take the load off Mrs. Oates here. Oh, now, Hoppy, don't you fret about me. My old man was a big sucker for buying this ranch, sight unseen, dern. His furs were so straight, rest his soul. Uh, Hoppy, what's the plan you was talking about? With Mrs. Oates' permission, California, we're going to round up enough mavericks out of the drawers and brush around here to pay off Skag. Now, that'd be nice. I could maybe sell it to a sucker myself, then. Yeah, no, no, Mrs. Oates. Uh, Hoppy, you're getting loco. Why, we'd need 30 men to round up them. No, we won't, California. All we need is a few matches. Uh, uh, now, what are you thinking of, us and matches? I did a little scouting around, California. There's a big clear can north of here with a wide entrance and a goose neck. You and I are going to make a big rim of fire in the mesquite circling it. As it burns in, every maverick in the area will be forced into that canyon. Sure, and show the fire. No, that's the easy part. The canyon is rock-walled. We'll make a big fire break in the goose neck. The fire will be stopped there. Won't do any harm, and it should net us quite a few head of mavericks. Sure, we have a herd of cattle, huh? And now, uh, how are the two of us going to haze them to market? Uh, they're going to be so wild, a cap going to send them stampeding. Well, we'll have to make it somehow, California. Well, you're the doctor, Hoppy. I'll sure do my bit to mess up this skag. <laughs> Well, there goes the last of them, Hoppy. The fire will hit the goose neck in another ten minutes. Uh, how many you figure we got in that camp? Uh, I'd say we rounded up about 500 of the meanest, toughest steers in the state. Uh, 500, eh? Uh, hey, with cattle going at $18 a head, we'll get more than the 5000 we need. No, these aren't prime steers. We'll be lucky to get $10, $12 a head. But that'll do it. Well, I'm sure glad this is over with it's been the hottest darned work I ever done, keeping that fire under control. Round up on the bar 20 is going to seem like a picnic after this. As soon as that fire dies, we'll have to block that entrance so the steers will be penned in. We can start hazing them to the railroad tomorrow. Uh, man, I'll bet that skag sombre will be whopping mad when he hears about this. Oh, what? what the? California, you hit? Uh, no, no. Oh, I'm all right, but get this darn dead horse off of me. Where'd those shots come from? And the smoke, who can tell? He may try again. Keep down. Who's getting up? I guess he's gone. But one thing's sure, that guy killed your horse was playing for keeps. Oh, why, now, that's real comforting, Hoppy. Uh, tomorrow we'll get an early start with the herd. I have a feeling that those shots came from a friend of Skaggs. We got cattle, but getting them to market is going to be a different matter. <laughs> Better take the other point as soon as we leave the canyon. Let the drag go. That don't make me mad. I sure hate to eat dust. Come on, doggies. Ramble. Hi. And be careful of those horns. These critters really carry bad ones. Turn right away. Well. I can see 500 arguments for short horns right in front of us. Get up, you lazy doggie. Uh, do I have to tell you up? Hi. Hi. All right, California, we're all clear. I'll take this point. Right. I'll cut around back of the herd and take the other. Hope to keep moving like this, so we'll make it in eight days easy. California, look out back there. Those men! Well, they're trying to stampede us. Those cattle are headed for the cliff. Why, nothing. They're doing it. Come on! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Boss of Vinegar Bend. <laughs> Trying to save the herd of maverick cattle he and California rounded up from the Badlands for Mrs. Oates, Hoppy raced off in an attempt to stop the stampeding steers, frightened by strange men who fired guns into the drag. We find Hoppy and California resting at Mrs. Oates' ranch. Well, we don't need to be told who was back of that stampede. Well, that finishes the Oates family as ranchers losing all them cattle over the cliff. Yeah, I'm afraid it does. Uh, wait a minute. I remember something you said before. Something about selling this place to another sucker. Oh, no, Hoppy, we ain't crooks. We... No, but Skaggs is, and he's a greedy one. Now, if we could just use his own greed against him. California, bring me a pencil and paper. Huh? Oh, sure, sure, Hoppy. Here's one over here. Who are you going to write to? Uh, thanks. A friend of mine over at the Sh uh, Sherlock Mines. 
And you've got a hard, fast ride. How long do you think it'll take you to make it over there and back? Mm, it's nearly 60 miles. Uh, three days. Maybe two if I can keep going. I'll keep going, then. Bring back the stuff he gives you, and we'll see if Skaggs can't be a sucker for his own bait. Here. I'm on my way, Hoppy. I hope this idea works. <laughs> Morning, Hoppy. You feeling like some grub? I sure do. Now, who can that be? Good morning, Mrs. Oates. Uh, Miss Cassidy, I'm Sheriff Williams. You ready to come to jail, peaceable? What do you care how he comes? Take him. Why don't you take me, Skaggs? Shut up. I don't soil my hands with trash. Go on, Sheriff. Sure, Miss Skaggs. I'm going. Uh, Order get those guns of his. Uh, Mrs. Oates, you uh, better get out. Cassidy's got the address. Mr. Skaggs, why are you doing this? He ain't hurt you none. Oh, hush, woman. He's a little too smart, that's all. After a couple of years in jail, he'll learn to keep his nose out of my business. Well, there you be, Cassidy. Hope you'll be comfortable. Thanks a lot. Tell me, Sheriff, how does it feel to be bought? Now, Cassidy, don't go insulting me. As long as Skaggs owns the bank in the town, I'll trail along with him and keep my job. Well, uh, see you later. Don't look in any mirror, Sheriff. You might get a bad shock. Psst. Psst. Hoppy. What? Who's that? It's me, California. I'm at the window. California, where did you get back? I hit the ranch right after they took you away. Did you get the stuff all right? Sure, but, but here, I'll bring you a file and a gun. Just keep them. I'm not breaking jail just yet. Now, listen close. I want you to ride back to the ranch. Tell Mrs. Oates to be prepared to get an offer from Skaggs for her place. What? Why, he won't offer... Shh! He will. But tell her to hold out for a profit. Tell her she'll have Skaggs by the tail. Well, Hoppy, you talk crazy. Why would Skaggs do a thing like offering her a profit? That's where you come in. Take that shotgun and other stuff out to that overhanging rock north of the ranch house. Then do this. Well, howdy, Sheriff. How's our prisoner? Okay, I reckon, Miss Skaggs. You want to see him? Yes, I think you would. I have a little news for him. Well, sure. Come on. Right in here, Miss Skaggs. Uh, uh, call me when you're done. I will. What do you want, Skaggs? Oh, I've just come to gloat a little, Cassidy, and to tell you to get some prayers together. You're going to die awful soon. Yeah? To be blunt, yeah. Tola's been telling me about those friends of yours back on your home range. I don't think it would be safe to let you go around spreading stories. Might. Cause me a little embarrassment. Only about 20 years in the calaboose. You'll love it. It'll be nice and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kill me. Never give up Cassidy. <laughs> well, maybe Toller's gun will change your mind. He's been made a deputy sheriff. Going to take you over to the county seat tomorrow. And I get shot in the back trying to escape. You know, Skaggs, you lack imagination. Mr. Skaggs, Mr. Skaggs. What is it, Tola? The guy just found gold on that oats ranch. He did what? Why, you're crazy, Tola. Uh, go, go, go sleep it off. No, no, I, I tell you, it's the truth. He's a prospector. He just rolled into town and drunker than two hoot owls and a barrel of moonshine. Uh, he spotted off about a finely hitting pay dirt and he flashed a sack of rocks that are full of gold veins. And the sailor said they was high grade. You sound like you've been chewing loco weed, Tola. Gold? Gold? Toller, I'll kill you if you're lying to me. Uh, where's the prospector now? I slugged him, and I got him tied up in your office. Why, he even told me where he found the gold. And it ain't far from that Oates ranch house. Well, that means we have to get that ranch back fast before Mrs. Oates finds out. Sheriff, get me out of here! Sheriff, how about a nice game of casino? Eh? You're a cool one. Ain't you figured out what Skaggs has got in mind for you? <laughs> yeah. But he's working on a bigger deal right now. Oh, was that why he tore out of town like the devil was after him? <laughs> There's only one thing that could make Skaggs move that fast. 
money. You seem to know your owner, Sheriff. I know him well enough. And stop insulting me. <laughs> I'm just a politician, that's all. Skaggs owns the bank, the bank owns the vote, and the votes tell me what to do. But that... Huh. Hi, Sheriff. Well, I've come to take the prisoner. Oh, Toller, when'd you get back? I thought you and Mr. Skaggs were out there. We were. Mr. Skaggs is finishing his business with old lady Oates over at the bank. Now open up Cassidy's cell. He's due for a ride. A nice, long ride. I... I don't... Well, all right, Toller, but I don't like this business. I'm sorry, Cassidy. Oh, you put up a nice fight, Sheriff. Thanks a lot. Shut up and get moving. Well, there's Mr. Skaggs. Hi, boss. You got the papers all signed? Yes. Yes, I'm the owner of that gold mine. Legal and proper. <laughs> well, funny I've been pinching dollars at the bank when all the time I had a fortune waiting for me to grab it. Excuse me. Some woman is waving for me to come over. Oh. Oh, yes, that's Mrs. Zoltz. Go on, Sheriff. See what she wants. But keep your mouth shut. You know, Skaggs, you have a shot coming to you. Oh, shut up, you stupid cowhand. You think you can rile me when I've just become the owner of millions in gold? Have you? I hope you didn't pay her too much profit on that ranch. You didn't get a gold mine, you see. Don't waste my time with lies. I saw the whole side of an overhang covered with gold flecks. Sure, that's known as salting if you use miners' lingo. What? My pal California fired a few shotgun loads of gold dust into that overhang, Skaggs, and then impersonated a drunken prospector. Are you lying? Say, boss, he's crazy, ain't he? Well, that ain't possible. Go on, tell him he's crazy. Ha, 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 it's no use, Toller. Your boss man has been taken. He was immune to a lot of things, but a little salt on his tail brought him down. Well, no, <laughs> it can't be. Why, 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 if it's true, I'm ruined. No, no, uh, Toller. <laughs> Kill him. We'll see who laughs last. You're right here, boss. But that's loco. Everything's loco, Toller. But he's not going to get a chance to laugh at me. <laughs> Kill him. Shoot him in the middle so I can see him die slow. Okay, if you say so. This is one killing I think I'll like. You ready, Cassidy? I'm going to give you a real bad tummy ache. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. And steel, Skaggs. I've got you covered. Uh, Cassidy, you all right? Sure, thanks for plugging this rat toller. Uh, him? Well, he'll live to confess. But I didn't shoot. It was Mrs. Oates here. What? Sure. I was carrying my old man's horse pistol. Don't know why he bought this darn pistol, anyhow. Never could hit the side of a barn. Plowed a mighty straight furrow, though, rest his soul. Take that vermin to jail, Sheriff. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Come on, Skaggs. No, oh, no, I'm the boss of this town, I tell you. I own a gold mine. You you can't put me in jail. It's a frame-up. Now, don't he yell, <laughs> pretty. Do your duty, Sheriff. Uh, yes, ma'am, I'm a planning to. But she robbed me. <laughs> I've been swindled, I tell you, Sheriff. Arrest her. Now, now, you Arrest. just come along peacefully. Okay. Or I'll melt you one across the skull and drag you. Now move. I've been cheated. <laughs> Sheriff, you can't arrest me. She's the one. She and Cassidy. My, my. I reckon that poor man don't recollect. I tried to tell him there weren't no gold on my ranch. More I insisted, more he kept offering. Wish my old man could have seen me dickering. He didn't have no head for figures, but he sure... I know. He plowed a mighty straight furrow, though. Why, now, <laughs> however did you know that? Never mind. There's one thing that kind of puzzles me, though. How come the sheriff turned so obedient? He acted like you owned him. Well, I reckon I do, in a way. Things is all switched around, Hoppy. That Skaggs got so excited what with wanting my ranch so terrible, he swapped me his whole bank for the property. Well, <laughs> well doggone. <laughs> then you do own Sheriff Williams. Sure. What that crook don't know is that he's due to be a prisoner along with Skaggs just as soon as I can find an honest man to be the new sheriff. Reckon you'd care for a little corn pone now. <laughs> We'd love some, boss. Boss? 
Me? Why, sure. Mrs. Oates, you're boss of Vinegar Bend now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was quite a twist to the ending of another one of Hoppy's exciting stories. But wait until you hear the next one. It's called Land of the Gunhawks, and Hoppy and California really get themselves mixed up in a thrilling adventure when they encounter the dangerous masked bandit known as Three Jacks. So be sure to be with us for the next episode of Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Boss of Vinegar Bend was written by Herb Purdom. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>